So let's start. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Impact at Tech webinar series showcasing the Clava Books solution. It's our pleasure to welcome you all here today. Thanks so much, everyone, for attending. My name is Maria, and I work with European Schoolnet, who are hosting today's event. I'm joined today by my colleague Romane. I will moderate today's event, and Romane will be working in the background on Teams, ensuring that everyone everything runs smoothly throughout the webinar. And uh, that said, let's begin with a very quick introduction. Uh, first, let me tell you a bit about Impact at Tech. We are a European incubator accelerator for startups and small and medium enterprises. We are a consortium of three partners. European Schoolnet is the network of 33 European ministries of education. EST is a worldwide leader in digital education. And Funding Box is a EU expert in funding opportunities, knowledge, and connections. So, over the past two and a half years, we have supported supported 43 European innovators to thrive and develop their digital educative solutions. We have achieved this via three open calls. Clever Books is a participant of our third and last open call, which is ending at the end of this month. The third open call targeted ad tech solutions that can work towards more inclusive education, personalized learning and skills development relevant in today's world. We had a total of 278 eligible startups that applied, but only 17 were selected to take part in the first part of the program, incubation program. And out of these, only eight startups made it to the second stage, acceleration program. Clever Books is actually one of them, and we are very happy to have them today as well as their piloting team. So today's webinar aims to showcase the results of this acceleration stage, where the startup had the opportunity to pilot a solution in schools and classrooms across Europe. We will hear today from the startup educational mentor and piloting teacher on the experiences and results of the program. I also would like to add a few words about Impact Attack and what makes it unique. So we envisioned that the acceleration stage of Impact Attack to be equally beneficial for startups, their mentors, as well as their teachers and schools involved. It provides the startups with access to equity free financial support and business and educational mentoring. When it comes to teachers and schools, they get access to the most innovative technologies. They have the opportunity to try the newest products on the market, to test them and to provide their feedback. Finally, in doing so, they contribute to supporting innovators in improving their solutions and ultimately achieve ad tech excellency. Thanks again to everyone for attending. We hope you will enjoy. This is the end of our short introduction. In a minute, I will give the floor to our speakers. On the current slide, you can find Impact at Tech social media as well as my personal email and the email of my colleague Romane. If you would like to find out more details about the project and to stay updated. If you have any questions about the project, do not hesitate. Please feel free to reach us out. Now I will introduce you to the Cleverbox team and today's speakers. Please greet and meet the Clever Books piloting team. First, we will start with uh, our startup representative, Ina, co-founder of Clever Books. Then the floor will be given to our educational mentor, Aiki, who followed the startup during the full three-month acceleration program. And finally, we will hear from Veronica, who is one of the free pilot teachers that tested the solution in a real educational setting. So let's start with Ina. Please welcome our first speaker, Clever Books. Ina, the floor is yours. I will stay here muted and I uh, will occasionally jump in and uh, moderate the webinar and see you later for the Q&A session. Fantastic, thank you very much. Uh, could you please confirm that you see my screen with the presentation? Yes, you know, we can see the slides. Thank you. Great. Fantastic. Well, uh, just to start this, uh, to say that uh, we're extremely uh, lucky to be part of the third open call and the last call from Impact at Tech. It's been such a tremendous uh, learning journey and the whole team was absolutely excited and empowered uh, to excel. And uh, today I will be sharing with you all the wonderful achievements that we had uh, because of this program. So I'm extremely excited to talk about it. And um, 
Augmentus Classroom is the solution from Clever Books, and uh, the solution itself is was designed uh, to create an opportunity for teachers to create engaging and interactive learning lessons for students, where the students can explore, create, and collaborate in the augmented reality environment. And when we talk about augmented reality, it's uh, basically the technology that provides students an opportunity to have the subject jumping off their screens, popping up in the 3D learning environments where they can get excited and um, also have the fun opportunities to interact with uh, those uh, three with this 3D learning environment. Therefore, better learn and then excel. And so uh, initially we started uh, the company back in 2016. And since then uh, we've done the, our first research in terms of understanding what are the current uh, educational challenges. And of course those challenges have also shifted a little bit with the COVID for the last two years. And um, so part of this uh, impact ed tech program was already based on a certain baggage of knowledge that we had in terms of understanding the market segment, where uh, we discovered that uh, students have a um, low, uh, low engagement in the classroom and it becomes more difficult for teachers to actually motivate students, uh, mostly using digital solutions. At the same time, uh, the teachers were looking for more efficient uh, resources that would help them to um, visualize different abstract concepts and uh, facilitate also digital collaboration. It became even more uh, important uh, during the COVID and the post-COVID when the schools were forced suddenly to completely go digital. And therefore, also one of the challenges was that uh, some of the schools didn't have the processes uh, set up for personalized and inclusive learning environments or inclusive education. Again, that brought uh, specific challenges for teachers as well as the students. And uh, by having all those feedback from educators over the course of a few years, we also discovered that a lot of digital solutions that come up are quite complex to use. So teachers were looking for easy to use uh, digital learning solutions that actually will simplify their teaching experiences and also provide more efficient learning environment for students. So those were the core challenges that we were, um, let's say, we were set up to overcome with bringing augmented reality experience and specific put it together in a comprehensive digital solution that is called Augmented Classroom. And as part of Augmented Classroom, uh, we always uh, we focus on specifically the primary education landscape from kindergarten all the way to grade six or students aged from five, five to 12. Um, also, the solution provides an opportunity for um, a variety of um, subjects to be integrated and aligned to the curriculum that could be presented in 3D learning environments or augmented environments. And the solution is uh, also provided in 13 different languages as we serve quite a variety of a community in the European uh, Union. And it was great to see that because of Impact at Tech, our um, community of European uh, teachers who joined Augmented Classroom has grew tremendously. And also the solution, uh, the uniqueness probably of the solution is that we don't collect any student uh, data and uh, the accounts that are created are created only by teachers who then facilitate interactive activities where students join by link or a code, therefore no student data is collected. And the whole combination of uh, the digital platform uh, is focused on exploration of pre-designed content, as well as where, where students can create or co-create individually or in teams, and also simultaneously collaborate in the multi-user environments uh, for the assigned specific activities. And um, as we know, also part of the challenges, digital devices and experiences and digital solutions are important to have for all type of devices. We also man made sure that we can support any type of devices, any type of operating system, starting from iPads, where the real augmented reality experience is available, all the way to the laptops and even touch boards where the students can interact in a 3D learning environment. 
from a pedagogical perspective, our main focus was uh, to uh, see how augmented um, classroom can um, help students learn and achieve great academic achievements. And uh, from all the feedback that we received from a previous um, research and also all, uh, talking to our pilot teachers, wonderful and amazing pilot teachers who gave us tremendous feedback and also the educational mentor and business mentor who supported us during the journey. Uh, the pedagogical value that we've defined and what we see probably the biggest uh, benefit for teachers is visualizing the concept in a 3D learning environment that is much easier for students to understand when they're presented with those concepts. Also to uh, increase the participation of students uh, in the classroom because once they have an elef a 3D elephant in the classroom, you cannot not participate in the class. They want to discover more, they want to learn what sound the elephant makes, etc. Also personalizing learning because different students have different learning styles and augmented reality is actually one of the technology that can help students to at different levels of learning to be inclusive and to also have a little bit of personalization during the activities they're performing. So overall, um, bringing augmented reality specifically with augmented classroom from Clever Books really helps students to increase the retention rate by up to 100%. Students remember everything that they've done because they're so excited. Uh, it's either a virtual zoo, an experiment, uh, science experiment. They remember everything that happened in class. Therefore, they talk about it to their parents and they remember everything. And which eventually brings them to boost to test scores and the academic performance. So apart from um, apart from this um, our experience with doing the research and doing the pilots on ourselves as part of EdTech uh, Impact EdTech program, we had wonderful three teachers from three European countries, from um, Ireland, Spain, and Portugal, where augmented classroom was tested in the classroom environment. As you can see, with a variety of subjects, subjects starting from math, geography, science, social studies, and English. And it was a great opportunity for us to see uh, how these pilot teachers were integrating that and actually get more in-depth feedback about uh, the use of solution, the usability experience, as well as how the students perceive the information and what else we can do to improve the solution for to make it a wider use. So uh, our pilot goals uh, were quite simple uh, to really understand uh, the teacher user experience and what can be improved, what can be integrated, also to understand the impact on students' learning. Everything we've, we've learned from the research, basically this pilot really helped us to better understand that uh, we're on the right track, we're moving in the right direction, and it definitely has a big benefit for both students and um, teachers to bring augmented classroom on board as part of a supplementary solution to the curriculum. And also assessment of the pedagogical value and the curriculum relevance of augmented classroom uh, to different types of curriculum uh, in different countries and uh, increasing the onboarding training efficiency uh, because the augmented classroom is a comprehensive solution that has multiple subjects uh, integrated within. So we want to make sure that when teachers come in, they really understand what uh, has to be done and how they can efficiently get started with the solution. And it was wonderful to see all the feedback that we received from pilot teachers and uh, really constructive feedback that helped us tremendously uh, with a lot of aspects, improving the solution, improving the uh, customer journey, improving the usability. But um, going back to the initial problem statements that we uh, talked about in terms of the educational challenges, basically um, the teachers were aligned uh, on the same level saying, yes, um, augmented classroom is quite easy to use as a tool and it could be quite well integrated in the curriculum. At the same time, yes, it does bring a, a student's engagement a level up and helps visualize a certain concepts, abstract com concepts, and also helps students to uh, be more interested, motivated in wanting to learn the subject. Therefore, uh, really brings the positive impact on the student's motivation and academic achievements. So um, students been uh, enjoying learning with augmented classroom and had quite a lot of fun. So that was wonderful to get that feedback. And so uh, one of the quotes, uh, again, from one of the piloting teachers, uh, regardless the ability of children, they were fully engaged on task, which was absolutely fantastic to see. So thank you very much for all that feedback. It's been absolutely amazing to have it on board. 
And um, if we talk about uh, just an overall achievement from the program, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, it was incredible experience for the whole team. The whole team was so uh, into, um, let's say, getting the most out of the program and the opportunities that we had uh, with uh, mentors, with pilot teachers, and just the general support of the program uh, was uh, tremendous and it really helped us to bo boost the business growth. But uh, if we talk about the main achievements, it's definitely that we had the opportunity with all the feedback we received uh, from uh, testers uh, and from the educational and business mentors and specialized mentors is to improve the solution based on the feedback. Also, we've created, uh, recreated completely the landing page, uh, which helped us to boost the conversion into uh, signups for the solution. Uh, we integrated the new onboarding training. We started running CPD trainings for teachers that, again, helped them to educate them on the concept of bringing augmented reality as well as augmented uh, classroom as one of the tools um, that provide the whole experience uh, in a 3D learning environment. Also, to improve business processes, uh, we found new areas of application of augmented classroom, for example, uh, specifically tailored to students with special needs or um, for the language learning that uh, we were not very uh, sure to start with, but that provided us some case studies that we can further work on also, um, let's say, and um, help other teachers to see that opportunities as well. And just a general valuable feedback and idea uh, for further improvements of uh, the company and uh, also the solution itself. But probably the most exciting part that uh, Impact Tech provided us with the opportunity to actually integrate the um, artificial intelligent elements that we've uh, worked on for quite some time. And I don't know if you can hear it now. So basically... Um, but I can certainly post the link uh, to the chat after I do my presentation and you can have a look at this video in the uh, YouTube, but it's focused almost uh, Alexa, type of Alexa integrated in augmented classroom. It's still in the uh, testing period, so our pilot teachers, I'm not sure if they were able to see that element, but um, uh, it, it was still uh, tested internally. Basically, you can ask any question, um, the artificial intelligence that integrated, and then you will get an answer, um, the audio answer uh, and the written answer from uh, from the solution. It's still very young. Uh, it needs to be educated, our lovely artificial intelligence element, but it's a great start. So we're extremely proud of that uh, as well. And overall, if we talk about the uh, Clever Books business growth because of the participation of Impact EdTech program, uh, we definitely uh, got uh, over 1,000 new teachers from uh, not only from European countries, but from all over the world signing up for the solution and um, getting access to this enga engaging and immersive tool. And also sharing it with over 30,000 students at different levels, starting from kindergarten all the way to grade six. And uh, one of the Geo Nights uh, was, was also uh, done in Croatia, one of the events where you can see the students engaging with uh, augmented uh, classroom as the geography solution, where they learn a little bit about the world, about uh, everything that is happening around them in a 3D learning environment. So, and uh, if we talk about the impact that uh, Augmented Classroom has proven to have uh, based on all the feedback we received from, educa from mentors, educational business, uh, specialized mentors, as well as pilot teachers, is that it, uh, the content that we provide as a solution, it does motivate and engage students. It also proven to be an efficient tool uh, for the teaching practices, and uh, it supports to inclusivity and personalization of digital learning ecosystem. So we, on behalf of team today, I personally want to say a huge thank you to our amazing and uh, inspiring uh, mentors who helped us tremendously, as well as enthusiastic pilot teachers who were really into testing this solution with students in the classroom and who gave us a tremendous feedback and very in-depth feedback that we're looking for. And also the Impact EdTech team for the opportunity to be part of this uh, fantastic program uh, that we're very excited and we'll have fantastic memories about it. So thank you very much to all of you. And uh, if you're watching this webinar and you're really curious to see how uh, the next level digital classroom should look like uh, using augmented reality, you're very welcome to reach out to us at Clever Books or you, uh, you can uh, create your own augmented classroom account and pilot the solution and see for yourself 
how it is and how you can engage your students. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ina. What a great presentation, impressive results. I would like to invite you to share the links in the chat because I'm sure the teachers, they would like to discover the website and the video. Thank you very much. And now I would like to invite a Clever Books educational mentor, Aiki, to take the floor and hear more about the piloting and how did it go from your experience? Let me know if you can share your slides. So can you see it now? Yes. So, so I can start. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, and dear listeners, it's a really great honor to be here. And, uh, and uh, it's been, like Inna said, a great journey, both for them and also uh, for me, I'm uh, Aiki Yökeva from Estonia. I work in South Estonia and I, um, I uh, try to give as much of my expertise and knowledge uh, to a Clever Books team as, as possible. So, and um, as uh, every teaching or mentoring and learning uh, is a two-way street, then uh, the very first thing I would like to say is that um, uh, all this uh, period, this, uh, this, these months have been really, really, really enriching experience for me. And, and all the sessions with uh, Inna Armstrong and, and sometimes uh, with some other team members, uh, they, have, uh, they have given me really new perspectives and, uh, and I have learned a lot from them because I can't say I was a great expert on augmented reality before, but of course I've been a teacher for, for a long time and um, have some, uh, some experience. So, and what I would like to say about um, Inna and her team is, uh, uh, I could feel that uh, they are really goal-oriented team. So, and um, they really try to uh, get the most out of all the sessions. Um, the sessions were always well prepared so that uh, Inna always had uh, good questions, uh, good points. Uh, she was looking for improvement. And um, as I understood, um, all the new information she got from uh, the pilot teachers or mentors, it was very quickly passed on to the team. So uh, I could see uh, those quick and permanent improvements uh, throughout the process. And um, I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah? Mike, but your slides are not moving, unfortunately. Ah, ah so, okay. well, I think you will need to click on the slides manually so that we can see them. Ah, sorry. Uh, so, but um, uh, do you still see the very first slide or yes. the title? Ah, so that's too bad. Then I will. OK, now can you see it now? The next mm, one. Not yet. Wow, maybe the connection is slow then, but it should come because I can see it. If you want, I can share your presentation and you will take over and just change slides. Ah, OK, so you still can't see the next slide. Unfortunately what? not. Oh, I don't know then. Um, All right now, yes. Ah, now, now you can see it now. Yes. Oh, wow. But if I start, sorry, I I start from current slide. Is it here now? Yes, the second ah. one. Ah, OK, actually, this is the uh, this is all the information I uh, gave during the recent some minutes. So I really wanted to say great thanks and uh, it was absolute pleasure to work with um, Inna and her team. Um, so can you see the next slide now? Teachers view. No, we can't. I suggest that you oh, exit yeah. exit the full screen, Aiki, and keep it like that. Yes, oh, okay. yes, no, it's just here. like that. Oh, now it's here. It's Perfect. Thank well, you. Well, and um, as uh, I am a teacher myself, then um, before I started working with um, 
with um, clever books i of course wanted to know what the solution was itself and i had my own teaching challenges um uh, clever books uh, augmented classroom is uh, meant uh, mostly for primary students but uh, but the challenges are i think universal and uh, inna already mentioned many of them so i don't spend too much time on on, on this slide um my my own uh, first difficulty sometimes is that uh, really students have difficulties understanding uh, different concepts uh, especially abstract ones they don't have enough motivation because they uh, nowadays they are those uh, so-called digital natives and and they they need lots of um, uh, quick and fast feedback uh, approval uh, quick learning processes and and um, this is what what is different from times earlier times they have shorter attention span and and they need lots of visualization because uh, children don't read so much anymore and 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 they need they need uh, maybe more visualization than in former times uh, and uh, what uh, what i think as a teacher and um, uh, what I value in uh, in a clever books uh, solution is that um, uh, well augmented reality it's it's really kind of uh, uh, learning environment with added value because um, you have this real environment not completely virtual one uh, but uh, but you can add those. Uh, 3D objects and it gives many, many more possibilities and uh, can transform the learning experience. And of course, as Inna uh, already mentions, uh, mentioned, uh, uh, we need more interactive environment, more visualization. Uh, we need to make the concept concepts alive and uh, we need to add motivation and excitement and engagement into teaching process um, so this is this is something that uh, augmented reality classroom can uh, can offer uh, to the teachers and uh, and learners of course and um, what in my opinion and from my viewpoint is uh, added value uh, by clever book solution is that um, mm, i saw different um, uh, different ways how to integrate subjects, for example, STEM, art, those team subjects, languages, history, uh, they have different apps to do that. Um, they um, Here you can uh, make your own augmented reality quests, uh, which uh, help to teach and also to um sometimes understand better what you what your students know and what what not and uh, a very good uh, thing is that you can really uh, translate those uh, those uh, quests your own or other teachers quests into multiple languages so this offers lots of uh, possibilities to uh, teachers who are not language, foreign language teachers, but want to teach in their mother tongue. And uh, of course, um, uh, Clever Books, um, uh, they have uh, improved uh, open library with lots of lesson activities and quests, which teachers can use to save time, uh, because time is always, <laughs> we always have lack of time, of course, uh, we as teachers. And uh, what is really good is um, uh, that uh, sometimes you can gamify testing because testing can be pretty boring when you do it only on paper or or just um, maybe even just on the screen. But with those uh, gamified um, uh, quests and quizzes, you can you can make uh, testing uh, much more interactive, and it's fun for everyone. And of course, which I feel in my uh, classrooms, uh, very often those kinesthetic learners, uh, they uh, they just are not able to sit on the same spot for a very long time. So um, I found out that, of course, I tested <laughs> this solution myself and with some students, not with the whole class, but some of my my students as well. And uh, 
and uh, I really had fun uh, with uh, moving around in the room and uh, finding the animals uh, here and there and uh, remembering their names. So I think the students are very thankful for that, uh, especially those kinesthetic ones. And uh, that is uh, uh, what is uh, again uh, really useful for teachers is that um, this Clever Books uh, website has uh, lots of information about different curriculums and skills development, uh, which which really helps uh, new users or also why not experienced users to find new ways and and new ideas. And as Inna already mentioned, uh, uh, they have uh, also improved the onboarding um, uh, trainings and CPD trainings. So uh, I think the new users have um, have better better chances to uh, understand all the features and functionality of the product. So uh, this is what I wanted to say. Um, um, and um, here, of course, I'm uh, I'm repeating what Inna already said. So. Um, in, in my opinion, the most important results of the piloting process and of all these months that uh, the process was going on um, was that um, mm, uh, this onboarding training structure was changed. I think it's very important because when you want to get uh, a new people, mm, um, new teachers to use your solution, then it's important uh, that you can show them the value and the usability and educational value uh, just uh, from the very beginning so that they can they can go on easily. Um, and uh, now there are clearly defined pedagogical values and um, and there is more time devoted to emphasizing um, how to integrate uh, augmented reality uh, into uh, into curriculum and into the lessons. And of course, um, there are more uh, content in the uh, open library that teachers can use to save time and to get ideas how to use all these apps. Um, and, um, um, and of course, I hope during the process, the team um, um, uh, uh, got lots of um, new information and understanding of the usability and educational value of the solution. So, uh, and um, the pilots in schools, I'm not going to speak about this because we have our great uh, pilot teachers, uh, um, Isabel Blanco from Spain, Veronica Ward from Ireland and Pat Patricia Santos from Portugal. Um, and Veronica will uh, speak about the results of the pilots in schools. Um, we had two webinars together, like milestone sessions where we uh, could provide guidance and, and get feedback. And uh, I must say that the pilot teachers really succeeded uh, uh, very well because they were responsive, quick, cooperative. Uh, they did everything in time. So uh, great thanks to, uh, to the pilot teachers. And to uh, conclude uh, my short presentation, um, I would uh, like to uh, send my absolute <laughs> uh, greatest uh, greetings and, uh, and thank you to uh, the whole team of the Augmented Classroom, uh, Clever Books team and especially to Inna who um, we had lots of, um, lots of fruitful discussions together. And, and of course, the students, I'm sure, will say thank you for everything you have done. And, and I can see that you have, uh, you have new perspectives coming, uh, new, new, uh, new apps coming to your solution. So uh, to be honest, uh, I think you are worth uh, the highest uh, <laughs> points in this process. And I hope you can go on with, your, with developing a solution. And if uh, I can... Um, Mm, get agreement from my uh, headmaster one day, then I will. Uh, I would like to try uh, your solution with my students as well. So thank you for your attention, and and I give uh, the floor to uh, Veronica.
Thank you Thank very you. much, Aiki, uh, for your well, for sharing your feedback. It's great to see how much work has been done over the past months. And yes, we are very pleased uh, to have you and the team and our great pilot teachers. So let's hear from our last speaker, Veronica, one of our pilot teachers from Ireland who tested the Clever Book solutions with her students. Can I just check that you can see my screen and that it's moving OK? Yes. No, okay? not yet. No. <laughs> right now we don't see your presentation. Oh. Try again. Is that working now? Yes. Okay. So, hello everyone. My name is Veronica Ward and I'm a primary school teacher here in Ireland. And I was one of three teachers who piloted Augmented Classroom by Clever Books, um, along with Patricia who tested it um, in Portugal and Isabel who trialed Augmented Reality, um, the Augmented Classroom in Spain. The students participating in the pilot program, as you've already heard, they ranged in age from five to 12 years old. And although the three of us are teaching in three different European countries, the following different and following different curricula, we all had a very similar experience when we were using the platform. Um, so I'm gonna spend a little while um, just sharing our thoughts and um, our opinions on the practicality of using the platform in our classrooms. So as I already referenced there, um, there are many challenges facing teachers nowadays as we're working with students who are classified as the digital generation. Um, when we employ more traditional teaching methods with our students, they become easily distracted. Um, their lives move at a much quicker pace. And so there is a demand for lessons to be delivered at a faster pace as well. Um, so our students' everyday lives are surrounded by the use of technology and therefore it's only natural that as educators they are going to expect us to use technology as um, within their educational lives as well. So as teachers we're always searching for new and exciting educational tools that will meet the needs of the students um, that we teach and I have to say Augmented Classroom Platform did not disappoint. So the use of any new application in an academic setting can be quite daunting. However, this was not the case um, with the Augmented Classroom. We found the platform was very easy to use. Um, on signing up to the platform, we found in introductory instructional videos on um, the many features and the uses of arc geometry, arc geography, the engineering and space application, also our Create and our Quest. These videos provided enough information for us as teachers to begin engaging with the platform and to begin planning the use of these applications within our classrooms. But as Ike already referenced, there's an excellent open resource of pre-made lesson plans, which can be used with your class um, if you're not confident enough to just dive in there straight away. Um, there's also a section that highlights the curriculum alignments um, with the International Baccalaureate Primary Years Programme and the American, Australian, British and French curricula. But even though um, none of the pilot teachers are actually teaching in a school that um, follow any of those curriculum, it was quite easy for us to identify the aims and objectives being addressed in each of the lesson plans and then to tie those in with the relevant subject area or the curriculum area um, within our own um, national curriculums. So when we're using a, a new application, student safety is always at 
a key priority. And I have to say, I had no trepidations whatsoever when using the platform with my, my class. Um, the students could only access the elements that I provided a link for, and there was no student data collected. Um, so this was one of the many benefits of using Augmented Classroom. So over the course of piloting Augmented Classroom, we've identified many benefits of using the platform within a primary school uh, setting. The brightly colored and realistic interface, um, it evoked a curiosity in the students um, as they want to engage with the application and they want to explore the many different topics available to them. So regardless of whether the students are working on laptops, whether they're using tablets or smartphones, or sometimes they were using a combination of devices, the platform was readily accessible to them and it aids in their, their learning and also in the assessment area for the teacher. While the applications sometimes appear very focused on um, STEM frameworks, so science, technology, engineering, and maths, the platform allows for the integration of many different curriculum subjects as the students can explore a specific theme or a specific topic. They can explore language. They can also incorporate their art curriculum as well. So the possibilities are endless. So what exactly does it look like in a classroom setting? <clears throat> Through our use of augmented classroom platform in our lessons, we noticed more interaction between students, but also more interaction between the student and the teacher. The children were actively involved in their learning and the appearance of the interface and also the gamification element of the ArcQuest application, which was used primarily for assessment, led to greater engagement within lessons, but most notably among the more reluctant learners. The ArcQuest um, is very similar in style to Pokemon Go, where the children get to move around the room with their mobile dev devices, and they're searching for objects linked to the topic, and they then answer questions presented on screen. So this application in particular gave a fun and a more relaxed approach to assessment process, which led to higher success and also an increase in attainment rates among students. So the augmented classroom platform, um, as you've already heard, it, it really encourages independent learning. So it encourages a very child centered approach to both teaching and um, learning and also assessment. So this platform allows the students to work at their own pace and um, again, suiting all children and um, regardless of their ability or their learning style, there is definitely something for everybody in this um, application. The platform allows students to work at their own pace and it fosters an environment that in, endorses inquiry-based or problem-based learning. And the teacher's role then shifts to one of facilitator, allowing the students to then take responsibility for their own learning and helping them develop the necessary 21st century skills um, that we hear so much about. So as the students explored the interface pre presented to them on um, animals in Europe was the example that um, I used. They then instinctively began to ask more questions about the topic being explored. So for example, they wanted to know these animals that we are learning about, do they live in any other continents? What are the animals that live in Asia? What are the animals that live in um, Australia and so on? And then they start thinking, well, would those animals maybe survive in space? So this, this led to the students' in, um, own um, investigations, and it was very student-led. Um, it gave the, the class the opportunity to explore the many different aspects of the augmented classroom platform. And through engaging with the material presented on the platform, the students developed many key skills, such as they were critically thinking, they were being creative, they were working collaboratively with each other and also developing their communication skills. So as Ike referenced uh, earlier on, it, it really is a fantastic tool for 
at tackling those abstract concepts. So through the use of augmented classroom, the students, um, they gained a deeper understanding of the more concept, uh, abstract concepts such as um, things to do with space. So using the platform, the students explored um, virtual objects. They were able to examine the different parts of a NASA rocket. By zooming in, they could take a closer look, they could rotate the many different components um, around and see it from multiple angles. The material they read in their textbooks was now becoming a reality and they were seeing it in front of their eyes. And in order to assess their learning, they had the opportunity to then take those components and um, to construct the rocket, connecting each of the components together and then virtually launching it into space. And that's the photograph that you see there and um, some of my class they were six, seven years old and they were so engaged and it was an activity that they really, really wanted to um, participate in. And again, it was an abstract, difficult concept for a child at that age to understand. But again, by doing and by um, it becoming a reality for them, it was much easier for them to comprehend. So. While it's not always possible to take a class on a field trip through space, um, the beauty of augmented classroom is that these children can travel through an asteroid belt. They can see the many different planets. They can even create a colony on Mars, complete with buildings and suitable infrastructure using the ARC Create application. So, <clears throat> Our students were so impressed with augmented um, classroom that they would love to have access to it at home and they would love for the developers to come up with even more content and to cover more subject areas and as we heard in a um, explain already there are new elements always coming on on board so from our experiences of using augmented classroom, the possibilities of integrating it into lessons is indeed countless, but we do believe the platform has the capability to continue to develop and to evolve in the future. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Inna and the rest of the team at Clever Books for an absolutely amazing educational tool and for Ike and everybody else who have supported us um, on our journey. Thank you very much, Veronica. What a great presentation and what a team like such great results. Uh, in the chat, uh, I invited uh, our attendees to ask you questions. So please feel free to ask questions if you have any. But uh, let's start our short Q&A session. And uh, yeah, probably uh, we have here also Patricia who tested the Clever Book solution as well. I will uh, ask Romane to give Patricia uh, uh, presenters rights. And so if she wants to comment and jump in, so she can unmute herself and also participate in the, dis in the discussion. Uh, actually, I will uh, go ahead and pose the first question to Ina. And I would like actually to know what are your plans for the months ahead for the Clever Book solution. So if you can share with us, please. Absolutely. As I mentioned, there are two exciting things that are coming up. One of them is the element of artificial intelligence, where you can actually talk to the app and the students can ask questions. Where do animals live? And so then uh, basically they will get an instant reply. Uh, for example, where does the elephant live? Elephants live in, uh, in Africa and then they can get additional information beyond that. So uh, that's probably one of the most exciting part because the whole team was also playing around with it and getting absolutely excited and trying to ask different questions and actually trying to educate the, uh, our new artificial intelligence uh, uh, owl to actually provide the most uh, successful information. The second most exciting part that is coming up, and uh, again, it's already available for, uh, for, for testing, is uh, the augmented reality textbooks, uh, whereby the teachers can actually scan any text and then add uh, elements like videos, uh, images, or uh, even uh, some of the additional things, and then again, share with students. So the students will not 
not just read a boring text or paper or whatever assignment that they um, they are supposed to prepare, but they actually can click and uh, see all those visualization, the images attached, or uh, let's say the video provided, or even a comment in a voicemail, let's say, uh, together with this essay, uh, let's say, uh, graded by the teacher. And there are a lot more new things coming up as well along the way. We're constantly taking the feedback and improving uh, the solution based on uh, the feedback from all the teachers with ideas, etc. But uh, it's already a great solution as a comprehensive tool to use in the classroom. But our team works really hard to uh, make it better and better. And we usually do the updates uh, four or five times a year with all the new features and updates. So it's growing. As uh, the, 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 everyone said, that there's great potential for it to be Improved and there's uh, endless opportunities what we can integrate and also how it is now is already can be used uh, in almost any subject uh, at the primary curriculum stage and beyond. Amazing. I'm sure teachers and students, they will enjoy these new features. And what about you, Ayaki? What was the most rewarding part of your role as educational mentor? Could you please share with us? Uh... It's interesting, uh, you know, that um, uh, when you uh, try to share something that is uh, so ordinary for you and that you do in your everyday work, then you you don't think that it's anything special. And, and at first I was really a little bit, uh, well, hesitant because I thought that what, what do I know that they don't know yet? Uh, but uh, during the discussions, uh, I really hope at least that is what Inna said, that <laughs> she could pick out some something from, from the sessions uh, that uh, were useful. So this was a great uh, feeling. And as I said, it's kind of a two-way road that uh, it's really a good feeling that uh, when you can give something and uh, at the same time you get uh, something back and, and learn yourself. So um this is my greatest impression and i really appreciate all the work that uh, that uh, clever books has done so um i'm a true fan now already <laughs> thank you great Aiki. thank you for sharing uh and veronica could you please tell us what did your students enjoy the most about the clever book solution and probably patricia could jump in as well and answer this question thank you I think it was the fact that it really brought what they were learning to life and um, that it wasn't just an image in the textbook, that it was something that they could rotate around, that they could really get their hands into. Um, and they absolutely loved the Create um, application where they could build their own colony on Mars. So they could take their little um, buildings and they could, they, you know, they, they constructed it first with Lego, but then they could make it as a, a virtual um, reality as well. So they love that aspect. Um, really, it's so hard to pick one particular point that they re they particularly liked. They just loved it so much. Um, and it really brought their learning to life and enhanced the learning experience that they had. And even, as I said, the most reluctant of learners were totally engaged when we were using um, augmented classrooms. So a big thank you to the Clever Books team for, for being so innovative and coming up with such an amazing educational tool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Veronica. Patricia said her microphone is not working, but yeah, I'm sure your students and you enjoyed the Clever Books solution as well, and your feedback is very va valuable to the whole team. Uh, thank you very much for your active participation, for your presentations and incredible answers. Thank you. We don't have, unfortunately, much time left. It's time to wrap up our webinar. I want to thank you all for being here, for sharing your results, your experiences, your feedbacks. You have done a great job. I wish you all the best for the future. And now it's time to rest a bit and enjoy the, the summer break. So thanks a lot. Goodbye, everyone. We will share the recording later with you. So if you would like to rewatch, please welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.